All right, so question 11. How much must be deposited at the beginning of every two months in an account that pays 4% compounded every two months so that the account will contain 22000 at the end of two months? Now, as I recall, I think 11 and 12 uh, may have a little bit of a glitch in it, but we'll, we'll see as we go through. Now, let's notice we are depositing into an account. We're saving money. All right, so we're wanting to use the savings annuity formula, which, uh, let's see if I can use this here, future value is going to be uh, 1 plus R over K raised to the KN. And I am not writing well. <laughs> Minus 1 over R over K. Oh, and I forgot my D out front. Here, my deposit out here. All right. Now, let's plug in. Um, she is going to, or somebody is going to make deposits at the beginning of every two months. 4% interest. Um, and we want it to contain 22000 at the end of two years. 22000 is going to be our future value. So let's put that over here. We don't know the amount that's going to be deposited. We have 1 plus our interest rate is 4%, so 0 0.04. We're going to do it every two months, so that's six times per year. And we're only going to do this for two years, so this is six times two. Minus 1. And then on the bottom, 0 0.04 divided by 6. All right, so let's keep going. All right, so first we want to do 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by 6. Oops, if I can type. And that is 1.0066666666. So 1.0066. Let me see how many there are. Uh, 6667. And that is raised to the 12th power. Multiply our 6 and our 2 together. over point, and remember that this part really ends up being this without the 1, so point zero zero six 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 seven. All right, now I'm going to take this number and raise it to the 12th power. And I notice that I'm at the bottom of the page, so I'm going to have to take it upwards. So... When I raise that to the 12th power, I'm going to have that our 22,000 is equal to D times Um, zero seven minus one. Let me get that denominator again. Um, point zero zero six sixes and a seven. All right. Point one two three four five six seven. All right. Now. On the top, let's subtract the 1 from this number right here. So we'll have 22,000. And that's just going to give me 0 0.08299. Nine, nine,
Let's finish this division here. And I'm going to get 12.4499254. Um, and now, um, lastly, I want to take this number that's with D and divide it out on both sides, and then I should have my positive amount. And I will put that into the calculator and we'll see what D is. 17, whoops, that doesn't look much like 17. 1767 and 8 cents. And let's double check. This might be the problem that I was talking about. Somebody else had asked me today about it and I noticed that the problems were slightly off in their answers. Um, I may have to exit this to do that, so make sure you write down the steps there before I do, but we'll check it. Um, yeah, slightly off, so I don't know what's going on with uh, how they, uh, so I believe that's 11 and 12, so just realize as you do 11 and 12, as long as you're within $30 there, um, consider yourself okay, because I believe there's some sort of algorithmic glitch in the answers in 11 and 12. All right, so...